Hello, welcome to another tutorial video uh, from robotics class. We are going to today use SketchUp to make a bracelet that can be 3D printed. So we're going to start off with the circle tool, which is C on the keyboard for keyboard shortcuts. And we're going to draw a circle starting right at the origin. Uh, what we have to do here is we have to make sure that the, we know how many segments are in our circle. If you look, you can see right at the edge of the circle that the circle is not actually made out of curved lines, it's made out of a number of straight segments. And I can change the number of segments by typing um, on the keyboard the number of segments I want, followed by an S, and then hit enter. And you can see that it changes the number of segments there to 12. If I want my circle to appear very smooth, I can type in something like 100 S and hit enter. And the more segments you are, the, the smoother the circle looks. Uh, but the also the more memory it takes up and the harder it is to do things like use the solid tools to combine objects with lots and lots of really small segments in them. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of that and we are going to make a circle with a certain number of segments. In, this, in our case we're going to use 20 segments. And we're going to use 20 segments because 360 degrees, which is the, the amount of degrees in a circle, is divisible by 20. If we divide 360 by 20 we get 18 degrees. So what that means is, if we make a design in a circle of this size, we're going to use, um, we're going to be able to rotate the design 18 degrees and have it copy all the way around and make a nice continuous line. So the second thing we have to do is we have to figure out how wide a bracelet we want and type in the radius of that. So this is not a correct radius, but um, you're going to have to measure for yourself to figure out what kind of bracelet size you want. But since we're in the millimeter template, which we should always be in uh, when we're using the SketchUp to make things for the 3D printer, I'm going to type 50, and that means 50 millimeters. That's going to make a bracelet that's 100 millimeters across, which is a really big bracelet, probably too big for anybody's wrist. Um, you're going to have to figure out through measurement what works for you. So now, I've zoomed in using Zoom Extends. I like to look at it straight from the top here. We're going to do our bracelet design in just one of these segments. So we're going to use the, the line tool, L on the keyboard, to draw a line from one of the endpoints. And I recommend staying away from the red and green axes here. One of the endpoints to the center of the circle. And then to the next endpoint. So you can just go right along the line until you get that next green reference for an endpoint. So this wedge here, there should be 20 of those around the circle, 18 degrees apart. So then we're going to zoom in even more here on just this little part here. This is where we're going to design our design. And we could have it start here and end here and that would line up if we made copies all the way around. But a lot of times uh, students want to start it a little bit in from the edge of the bracelet. So if I want to start my bracelet design in from the edge of the bracelet here, I got to figure out where on this side it's going to line up perfectly. Right now the only inference I'm getting is perpendicular to edge, but you can see that that's going to make a shape that is not really going to work out and it's a little bit closer to the edge here than it is here. It needs to be the same distance away. So if I hover over this line for a moment, now when I come back, I get a parallel to edge. And by drawing that parallel edge, I'm making a trapezoid. And that parallel edge will ensure that it's the same distance away right here. So that when I do my rotation, this end will line up with this end. So now I'm ready to do my design. And my design can be any sort of design as long as it starts here and ends here, as long as it's drawn in one continuous line that does not cross over itself or um, require me to pick up my pencil to draw any of the parts. So I'm just going to draw a pretty simple design. This design is going to be designed to allow the bracelet to actually stretch because it's got a little bit of extra in it. So you can see my design is going to look something like this. And you can see I'm erasing all of the lines that are not part of the design now because I don't need them anymore. This is my design. I want this repeated over and over again. Luckily, since I drew my circle right at the origin, I know where the center of the circle is, so I know where to rotate this. How I rotate it is I select with the select tool. I select the whole thing. I can drag around the whole thing like this, or I can drag from the right and only get part of it, and it still will select it. Or I can double click the line to select it, or triple click the line. And now it's all selected. It's all blue. I'm telling SketchUp I want to rotate this object. Then I select the rotate tool. That's Q on the keyboard for a shortcut. And I'm going to choose my center of rotation. In this case, the center of the circle, the origin. Then I need to choose a reference point to start rotating. I like to choose an endpoint. You don't have to. It doesn't matter, really. And now I'm starting to rotate. And just like with the Move tool, if I want to make a copy, I'm going to tap Control to make a copy. And so now I can see that it, I've, as I line this up, it's looking really close to 18. But if I get 17.2, the lines are going to overlap. If I get 18.1, 
there's going to be a tiny little gap there, and that problem will happen all the way around the circle. So since I know that three, 360 divided by 20 is 18, I know I need 18, so I'm going to just type 18 in the keyboard and hit enter to make sure my copy is in exactly the right spot. I also know exactly how many copies I need because I know I have 20 segments, I have one original, that's going to lead me to 19 copies. But even if I'm not sure, I can just type a certain number of copies, like 15x, and hit enter, and it'll do 15 copies in the same direction, the same amount of angle. Um, but I don't need 15, you can see there's still a big gap, I could try 18x, and if I do, oops, uh, that was a mistake, I typed a slash first, you must get this exactly right, uh, let's see if I can get it with 18x, there we go. Okay, so you can see that there's a mistake there because I undid some actions. So let's let's go back. As always in SketchUp, you want to undo your mistakes, not just keep going, not just try and fix them some other way. So again, I'm going to erase. I'm going to select. I'm going to use the rotate tool. I'm going to click on the end. I'm going to tap Control to make a copy. Type 18 for the angle. And this time I'm going to go straight to it so I don't make any more mistakes. You can see it's really tricky when you're making multiple copies. you got to do it right after you make a copy. So I'm going to type 19x and hit enter. And you can see that it's perfectly lined up. If I zoom way in, those, those seams are perfect. If I've done everything correctly at this point. So now I need to fill in this inside. So I need to tell SketchUp, remind SketchUp that this is an enclosed space. And the way I do that is I draw a line from any edge point to any edge point, And it will fill in both halves. Then I can erase that line because I don't really need it. And now I've got a, a nice, clean, simple outline that if I push-pull will give me a solid object. So I need to figure out how wide I want my bracelet to be. Now I've got a nice, solid object. All I need to do is make it a group. Triple-click, right-click, make group. And then I can check it with one of the solid tools, and it says that it's a solid group. If it wasn't a solid group, I do recommend using the Solid Inspector extension, and it should circle any of the little lines. Usually, there's w if there's one little problem, it's going to be 20 problems, because it'll be all the way around. But this is 3D printable, although this bracelet's a little bit too big. You can always measure how big the bracelet is by taking the tape measure tool and going across it. You can see this one's about 100 millimeters. That's too big for a bracelet. I'll let leave that to you to figure out exactly how big you want it. But this is a bracelet. It's 3D printable. There's lots of customizations you can do to it. Um, the big obvious question is, is this a br how is this a bracelet? Because there's no place to put your wrist. But what you can do is you can export this STL uh, and import it into uh, the MakerBot software or any custom slicer. And you can make a custom profile that prints 0% infill, no roof, no floor, and only one layer around the outside. One shell is what the, the language they use in the MakerBot software. And what that will do is it will just print one continuous line over and over again all the way around. Uh, some people might have a better way of printing a bracelet like this, but that's an easy way to print a bracelet. These bracelets don't take very long to print, anywhere between 6 and 25 minutes. Um, and so you can have a lot of bracelets uh, very quickly. And so that's how to make a bracelet. For more information, please check out our other videos.